So it's the second semi-final now in the 400 meters T11. <laughs> so this is Daniel Silva of Brazil in lane three. Season's best, 51.09. His personal best, 49.82. He is the fastest man in the race. His guide is Wendell Souza. Wendell Souza applauds his man. Daniel Silva gives us the salute. This is Dustin Riley Walsh of Canada on the left. Season's best of 53, which is his personal best. A few Canadians in the crowd. Dylan Williamson will be his guide. And there'll be a pause for this man, the Frenchman, Timothy Adolphe, and his guide, Cedric Philippe. So it's the first in each heat that goes through and the next two fastest advance to the semi-final. Their target time, 52.99. That would be a new personal best for both Dustin Riley Walsh and Timothy Adolphe. This is the most difficult of the sprints for the blind competitors because 400 meters one lap of the track, so they have to run two bends, which is the hard bit. The 100 meters obviously easy enough because it's in a straight line. Oh, oh, it's a false start. I was just about to say they're all away well, and they weren't all away well. So it'll take a while to get them back. Now it's quite interesting because they'd gone maybe 20 metres before they were called back. Judges are having a look at the replays here as well, yeah. very closely. There's a, there's a monitor inside that box. The reason they have it in a box is so that the light gets off it. And they all gather around and peer in. Lots of different opinions by the sound of it. It didn't look as if anybody was obviously away early. Maybe in lane five they were just jigging about the blocks. Some massive voices. Now, uh, hopefully there is this a will red card here, yeah. but all the all all the cards are there. But he he has the red card in particular chosen. Well, I must admit, even seeing the replay, I saw nothing. I thought the Frenchman was very quick off the mark out in lane seven. But it's actually lane five he's going to, and, and it's it is red. a red card. Mm. Well, that's unfortunate for Dustin Riley Walsh. It must have been movement on the blocks. Okay. Protest. Protest. Run. They are going to protest. Run now. Protest. Margaret. Margaret. Well, with the naked eye, I saw nothing. And I'll be frank, on the replay, I saw nothing either. So that's tough. They hold up the red card. Obviously, only the guy guide can see it. And then uh, Dustin Riley Walsh, we heard him say, the Canadian protest. He wants to any contest. Well, let's take a look at this again. If the false start to crew. Are you English speaking oh, yeah. Can yes. Canadian? Yes, 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 yes. If the false start equipment is working, and it is, and it is a negative false start, you cannot run under protest. We're we'll trying. We have to go with the false start equipment. We can protest after, run now and protest. No, we, the false start This is our understanding. So we can run with protest and yeah. decide. Yeah. Only if the false start equipment isn't working. False start equipment is working. It's showing a negative 0 0.067. Speak with my team manager and can we can we get the, can we get somebody who will, will chat rules because we were we were under the impression we could run out of the Under I, I IPC rules. But can we get somebody who knows the rules better than us? 
So yeah, that's the team. That is, that is my job. That's weird, like a team manager to. Well, just look at lane five. Look at lane five. Was there a little push before? Negligible, I would have thought. Obviously, it came up on the monitor. They are uh, they are ultra sensitive, and for very good reason. Various officials will go off to speak to other officials. Dustin Riley Walsh not going to give up his place in the semi final easily. Now, some of these competitors we see in lots of different events, but this is the first time we've seen this fella. That uh, Scottish lady, she is a uh, head starter here. Must have special permission to carry her guns around the world. Now they're still here and they're not moving for the time being. They're... Gentlemen, can you come off the track, please? Well, they've decided against doing a John Drummond when he sat in the track in Paris and held up the 100 metres final for half an hour in the 2003 World Championships. They've decided to take their medicine for now. The, uh, achievement being noted on the big screen we'll tell you about after this race, which is now a two-horse race. Absolutely. So even I won't have any problems with identifications here. Silva of Brazil on the inside in lanes three and four with his guide, Wendell Souza. And Timothy Adolfi of France with his guide, Cedric Philippe. So the reaction time that they're allowed is 0 0.1 seconds. Anything quicker than that counts as a false start. I think they said the Canadians got 0.06, which suggests they were already de decided to go before the gun, which is a bit daft, really. But very rough, rough on the Canadians. And they may well protest, and maybe they'll be allowed to run their own heat on their own just as a time trial. But they've been asked to leave the track, and very graciously they have gone after their protest. So this time they're all away. Silva from Brazil on the inside, Adolfe from France on the outside. Silva from Brazil catching up, running very nicely with his guide, Wendell Souza. They've got a personal best of 49.82 so far this season, 51.09. And the Frenchman's going very well as well. Adolfe, Timothy Adolfe with Cedric Philippe coming up to the 200 meters mark to go. This is where the Brazilians will overtake now. The, it's the yellow and green of Brazil. We've seen a lot of the green, yellow and blue of Brazil. And uh, just keeps in his lane nicely there. And he's going to win it very comfortably indeed. Daniel Silva of Brazil. The Frenchman's going very well. It's a good run from him because he has a much slower time. And over the line, Silva of Brazil. He will qualify and Adolfi of France finishing second. Dustin Riley Walsh of Canada, if you're just joining us, disqualified for a false start. So a good run from the Brazilian. They're very good at this blind sprinting, the T11 class. Uh, particularly their uh, women we saw yesterday doing so well. Diamina. I thought the Frenchman had run faster than was expected. And it's a personal best for Timothy Adolfi. 52-80. Daniel Silva comfortably winning 51-69 and just confirmation that Dustin Riley Walsh has been disqualified. Just to clarify the appeals process, they are allowed to appeal decisions. However, as we heard the Scottish starter explaining there, if the false start equipment is working properly, and it is, then there is no appeals against that because that is uh, an electronic system of measuring it and uh, its word is God. Daniel Silva qualifies 